Hello and welcome everyone to another stream of FTL. Uh, today we're going to be playing the Mantis B. Um, haven't streamed in a while, so definitely gonna gonna be looking forward to this. And also, uh, I haven't streamed, I haven't played FTL in a long time, so it's definitely gonna be interesting. Uh, maybe gonna make some a few more mistakes than I usually do, uh, but I hope it's gonna be educational nonetheless. Um, Mantis B, uh, one thing that is special about it is the four-man boarding, boarding uh, um, option that we have. Usually uh, ships are equipped with uh, two spots to board in, but this ship is actually equipped with four. Only two Mantises though, so putting out uh, fires or dealing with system damage is going to be more challenging. Um, and also we come uh, equipped with two shields already from right off the start, so that is going to be uh, really nice. Our weapon system is a weak system, however, so uh, we're going to need a bit extra scrap early on to power this. And also we start with no weapons, so dealing with unmanned drones is going to be uh, really difficult, if not impossible. There are certain um, drone or, or uh, unmanned drones um, that we just cannot deal with, and we just have to uh, wait it out, wait for our FTL to charge, and then, um, and then just fly away. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay. Okay, we don't need to power anything just yet. So let's just have a look at this. This distress beacon is dead to us. Um, usually I like nebulas, not so much with this ship. Uh, nebulas usually contain more um, auto scouts. So we can't really, we can't really deal with that in, uh, at the, with our current setup. Um, so probably just gonna try to avoid that as much as possible but then again they are extra jumps so I'm not not sure what to do with that I'm probably just gonna go here here and then depending on what these two jumps are maybe i'll jump back up and then uh head over this way uh the sector doesn't look too good the um the exit is quite far on the left side so we're not gonna get too many jumps out of this sector which is uh quite unfortunate um, I'm actually just gonna save their positions right here so we can just uh, very easily get them uh, get them over there when we start. Actually, nah, let's not do that. We have time. We can we can pause. Uh, we can just leave them here and then I'll just manually drag them. Uh, let's go here first. Hopefully, no auto scouts. Like I said, I want to get well. I just had to jinx it. Um, this is actually a good layout uh, for of an auto scout. This one we can deal with, um, but yeah, not not ideal for sure. I really, really hope that it's gonna go. Um, the auto scout is, that our boarding drone is gonna go into weapons here. It is not. So yeah, we may we may take some damage here, and yeah, I'm just gonna keep this guy on evasion for now. So. The good thing about this layout is that uh, all of the rooms connect and our boarding drone can just move from room to room. Uh, there's also certain uh, layouts where all of the rooms are separated um, and in that case it's much more difficult to deal with um, with, a board, with, um, with auto scouts. This one we are able to kill, it's just we might take some damage here and I may even decide to run away after all. Um, this is really, really, really unfortunate. So I would have loved to for this guy to go into the weapons here, uh, because this charge laser is just gonna keep on charging. And yeah, maybe it's better to move this guy onto onto shielding now. Actually, uh, that it's charged. Uh, I'm not really sure what to what to do in this situation. It's always difficult to deal with um, with auto scouts this early on with this ship. Uh, we can't jump over, unfortunately, uh, so we need level 202, or level 2 uh, teleporting for that. Um, so yeah, for now we're just gonna have to sit here and, and take the shots. And I hope it's only gonna be one level of, of, of thingy here. We're gonna take some damage. Okay, some dodges, very good. Okay, it's definitely gonna be two. This is never gonna gonna repair itself. Oh, that's really really bad. Oh, like I said, dealing with fires and repairs early on is so bad in this in this. I think I'm just gonna jump here uh, as soon as we can. Um, 
It's going to be really, really difficult for us to deal with anything uh, with more damage coming in. So I'm just going to wait. Like, I think this times out very well, though. And in that case, I, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave. Yeah, unfortunate start. But, yeah, nothing we can do about this. I don't want to take more damage than, than we necessarily have to. Um, okay, let's turn in and fight. Missiles and an asteroid field. I mean, asteroid field is is, is not too bad with this uh, with this setup, but yeah, the missile is is to deal with the missile is quite unfortunate. I'm just gonna board into weapons here, and since there's a rock in here, oh, they have a rock and a mantis. So I'm just gonna move around to find a situation where the rock is gonna fight me and one either the mantis or the um, ah. Or the uh, um, uh, the mantis and the the rock, or the or the human and the rock. So as you can see here, the the rock is currently moving into this. Oh, that's really pretty bad. I could have put a defense drone. I didn't. I didn't think about that actually. Um, so right here, we're in a situation where the rock is fighting us and the. Um, Is there a defense drone ground? No. Okay. Um, and right now here we're gonna we're just gonna be moving around a bunch, um, so that the mantis, oh, so that the mantis is is engaging us. And as soon as the rock joins the party, we are out of there, and we just move to the other side of the. Oof. Uh, so we just move on to the other side of the ship. Right here, the rock is gonna gonna come into the room, and as soon as our mantis gets low. We're gonna swap them around, give them the old switcheroo, and we're just gonna take a, a two-on-one fight. So all of this switching of rooms is just to make sure that we always have a two-on-one situation, and we make uh, use of this by um, using the rocks, uh, using the fact that the rock is very slow in moving. Um, so right here, I'm just gonna repair the teleporter, I think. I really hope they can't get hit in here because just one more hit from from uh, from an asteroid is to, is gonna make this, this uh, is gonna kill this guy. So what I may end up doing is just repairing the shield before I actually teleport them over, uh, just to make sure that we don't uh, end up uh, uh, dying to a random double asteroid. Okay, I'm not entirely certain, but they seem to be dodging everything. Uh, so maybe they just can't get hit. Uh, that may also be a possibility. I don't, I don't really know that for sure, though. I don't think I've ever been in a situation like this before. But yeah, we can just repair the shields and then be completely safe once we teleport over. Um, okay, first shield bubble is repaired. Yeah, they seem to be dodging everything, so we're completely safe here. Let's see, second shield bubble is almost repaired. Let's go. There we go. Now he's gonna repair the... Uh, the med bay. Good stuff. Okay, so we made it out of this one. I should have realized that I had the defense drone and we could just deal with the missile that way. Um, that was definitely a, a mistake on my end. Um, gonna look out for that next time. Uh, like I said, I, I haven't played in one and a half months now, approximately. So definitely gonna make some mistakes, but yeah, we can just learn from that again and make sure that we... Uh, deal with similar situations better next time so yeah level two shields definitely going to be very very useful in this run um very very useful actually this is usually what i go for uh in the first in the first sector uh just because it's so good and the fact that we got another mantis as a boarding crew is absolutely amazing any sort of crew that you can get is amazing because we have the four boarding set up there's nothing over here, so I'm just gonna head down. I'm gonna avoid these two jumps again uh, because they might contain auto scouts and we're very badly uh, equipped to deal with that. So I am just gonna head down here, have a look down. 
down here, see if we can find a store. Maybe sell off the Mantis pheromones that we have in our in our cargo. Oh, I absolutely hate refueling platforms. Oof. I'm just gonna ignore it. I've had so many situations where I've had bad experiences with refueling platforms. They're just generally not worth the hassle, I think. Uh, if you really need some um, some fuel, then obviously it might be good. But there's also an event that m m calls you to lose fuel, even so, it might also uh, uh, it might also make it very bad. Hey, Cyber Penguin, how's it going, man? Long time no see. Uh, let's dock and try to rescue survivors. Um, yeah, okay, that's an option. Uh, so, so dock and try to rescue survivors again, just because. Uh, we need a bit more crew to actually be able to get a four-man boarding party going on. Uh, so we just took some damage there, but I think nine uh, we got nine scrap and uh, took uh, four damage, so that evens out. I think repairs in this sector are just uh, just cost two. Um, so we got one scrap from that event, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. I'm going to head down here see if we can get any scrap then up here and then down there just to maximize the amount of jumps or i can go one two three and then store i think i might just do that and then just head over here and uh until we can actually get to the exit uh this is definitely going to be more than two jumps so i can get, take these two uh before heading to the store it's been a long time yeah i know man like this is what i've just been been, been saying it's uh it's been a hot minute uh, since uh, since I've streamed, but yeah, uh, was on holiday a while back, and then uh, in the last couple of weeks I was really busy, so it's uh... yeah, it was uh... busy times. Oh okay, yeah, I saw that you streamed some other stuff though. Uh, I did see that you were online. I think the like yesterday or the day before even. Um, one of the mercenary ships, uh, let's try to help, to help them, uh, the full flute of repairs, okay, let's, ac let's accept some, uh, quest, unfortunately we didn't get any sort of scrap here, this is really, really bad, uh, a start like this is usually a run ender, uh, for a ship like this, the good news is we just got a long range scanners, which is arguably one of the better, um, one of the better augments in this game. So what we sold there was um, uh, Mantis pheromones. They just make your mantis or not your crew, I think even uh, go faster. Um, so move faster, which is not really necessary. Um, and then we bought uh, the long range scanners, which add, which uh, just gives you info on the next jumps uh, that is that are around you. Uh, let's see. Do we buy any more fuel or repairs? I think we do because we're kind of running low on fuel. Also repairs we're gonna get a few of and then two more fuel. So usually what happens with boarding strats is that you get quite a bit of fuel and quite a bit of scrap because there's a every time you, you kill off the enemy crew there's a chance of a high fuel high scrap reward. So yeah, definitely gonna gonna be uh, uh, making a lot of bank if we make it to the early game, but yeah, that's a big if at the moment. So there should be two more jumps. So I'm just gonna go here and here and then head back to the exit and hopefully get some scrap along the way. Uh, where did you go on holidays? Um, uh, I went to a salsa festival in Greece first uh, with some friends of mine from the from the salsa community here. And then uh, from there, I went with my girlfriend to America uh, to see New York. And uh, then we also wanted to go to Connecticut the week after. So we went there for, for like two weeks. And but unfortunately, we got Corona and that, uh, yeah, that didn't go uh, as we planned. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So right here, uh, we have three mantises that can board. So we're definitely going to going to do that. We have a defense drone for the um, for the missile, so also not going to be an issue there, hopefully, because they can still hit, uh, especially with big ships like this. It's it's uh, very uh, it's a possibility that you get hit. Um, 
so this is what I was talking about. High fuel, high scrap reward. 21 scrap in the first sector is, re is a lot. Uh, so definitely a good reward there. Uh, sort of makes up for the for the other um, uh, for the other scrap that we didn't get from other events. Um, you can also get a crew or weapons from uh, by killing uh, by killing off enemy crew. So boarding strats are really really lucrative in general. Just gonna continue uh, uh, with the plan that we had. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's really unfortunate that you know um, that we got it in our holidays and we had to quarantine. So we were just hopping from Airbnb to Airbnb. Uh, yeah, it was horrible. But you know we had a, a fun time at the salsa festival and then uh, later on at the um, in New York. So yeah, definitely worth it in, uh, still. I may just pop this guy into um, into the teleporter right off the start. Uh, just because I feel like it takes a while for him to to move into the uh, into the teleporter. This we're gonna take some damage here. There's really nothing we can do about it. Um, maybe boarding with two guys there would be an option, but yeah, it's uh, it is what it is basically. Uh, I'll just accept that damage. But like I said, the shield manning is not really necessary, so I'd, I I would like to move him over here. Um, Let's move these guys over and help us with repairs. I've never been to yes, maybe someday. Yeah, I mean, New York wasn't really my thing. It was, it was so crowded and I don't know, man. It 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 was, like it was like London on steroids. Like everything needed to be big and you know, and I don't know. Yeah, not really my thing. Uh, but the nature in 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 America was amazing. Like so nice. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, made, made the most out of the, the bit of time that we had and you know, walked around a lot and just went for hikes and stuff like that. So that was really nice. Um, three fuel for two drone parts. We don't really use the drone parts that often. So I think I'll, I'll keep the fuel for now. Yeah, even mathematically, this doesn't make sense. Like three fuel is nine scrap and two drone parts is eight scraps. Is it eight scrap? Or is one drone part eight scrap? I can't remember. I thought it was four scrap, but I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure anymore. But yeah, we're, we're not using the drone parts that often. So, you know, we don't need it at this point. Next sector, pirate controlled is definitely gonna be the choice here. Uh, I just said we want to avoid nebulas as much as possible because of auto scouts. So pirate control is really good. Another reason why pirate control is good is because there are some uh, events that let you get some crew. And like I said, if we really, really need some crew if we want to make this four party boarding uh, work. So we're gonna go pirate controlled and maybe, yeah, we're definitely gonna take some, we're definitely gonna head into some nebula. So at least by this point, our weapon system should, should be operational and should be uh, uh, working as well. I've been looking to learn uh, game programming, so I'll uh, start at some point with this month. Oh, nice. Oh, C sharp is that right? Uh, if I remember correctly. Um, I'm not. I'm not too familiar with programming, but I think it's uh, that's how you pronounce it. Um, um, okay. Well, so what made you? Yeah, exactly. So C sharp. Yeah. Uh, asteroid field. <laughs> Honestly, they're not too bad. Uh, this exit again, really bad. Very far on the left-hand side. Um, and lots and lots of nebulas that we don't really want to take, but it looks like I'm gonna have to take some of them. Or I can just head down here, that's also an option. Hmm. We could ignore this quest, but it's, yeah, we might as well take it. But I think heading, uh, taking the asteroid field here is not too bad. Uh, we have a defense drone that can shoot down the asteroids and uh, we should be able to take care of ships pretty easily with this setup. Uh, so I'll think I'll take them for now. So I'll go one, two, three and then uh, head down here and then back up most likely. I don't really like taking taking these, these jumps here, but they are extra jumps. Um, and we may be able to find a weapon in between somewhere. Yeah. If it really goes south, then I can always take this route here and then head back over. But for this. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so this is one of the worst ships to encounter. So first, I'm gonna take care of this. Of this. Um, oh, I should have let that hit actually. I should have let that hit as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna. I want to um, make them go out of drone parts. Okay, that's fine as well. Um, maybe I'll just wait for them to to get out of missiles. Let's actually see where this boarding drone lands. If it lands in here, we cannot we cannot uh, take out the ship anyway. Okay, that's not not great, but it's not bad either. Oh, that's really bad. Fuck. Ah, hmm. So this is gonna hit for sure. Yeah, unfortunate. So our defense drone got shot down by their laser here. Um, and yeah, we really need our defense drone online for to take care of this of this uh, missile here. So as soon as I can, I'll have it online again. And I hope, oh fuck, that's me engines. I don't care about the teleporter that much. Uh, the engines are more important. Hmm. This is really bad that we're in an asteroid field now because the defense drone wants to shoot down the asteroids, but also it wants to shoot down this, uh, this missile here. That's really helpful. Uh, because now we cannot take damage from the asteroids anymore. That's good. No, you stay. You stay. So I just want to uh, uh, make them uh, go out of missiles. And then um, as soon as that happens, I can... Um, very good. I can... Uh, so now they're out of missiles. And as soon as that happens, I can take care of their... Um, I can uh, uh, use the boarding drone to take down their shields and then now the asteroids are going to take care of them. Maybe I should have realized that earlier actually that it that my boarding drone was in the shields room and that taking this down would actually enable us to damage the enemy ship with the asteroids. Um, so yeah, again, small mistakes like that can cost you a lot of health. Like I think I took like six damage in this fight, so yeah, quite a bit. Um, but yeah, like I said, small mistakes are going to be made this uh, this run because I haven't played in uh, in a while now. Do I take another asteroid field? I mean, this one was really tough, but it was mainly due to the fact that it was an auto scout. So I think I'm, I feel rather confident that we can take care of this one. Okay, definitely more manageable. They have a oof. I'm going to use a boarding drone here. Uh, just because they have a clone bay and that can be really difficult to deal with. So I'm just going to use the boarding drone in this case to soften them up and then to uh, teleport into the clone bay right after I uh, right after I kill them. Good shit. And now I'm going to head in there. Teleport in here. And then take care of their clone bay like this. So I'm gonna stay with one guy in the shield room, um, just to take care of their their last guy. And this is also as soon as there's as soon as uh, we move into the shield room, they want to defend their shield room. So we can take down the 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 clone bay this way. Hopefully not shields. Drones is fine. That's no problem at all. So, as long as we keep people in the shield room, they will always clone themselves and then move back into the shield room. Uh, and that way we can actually take care of them pretty easily. Okay, that's really, really, really good. Another Mantis means that we can have more uh, more borders. And one thing that, I, that I'm doing here is I'm moving all of them into the same room. And then I can teleport them all out at once. So, you can teleport out multiple people even though they, they only have it only has like a two block room just by moving into the room and then teleporting them as soon as they are in, in that particular compartment. So yeah, another Mantis, really, really good. Really, uh, phew, that's a really good start. Four Mantis boarding is scary, really, really scary, especially when it happens on your ship. But imagine, you know, you know we can now take on enemy ships using, uh, using our four Mantises, so. Definitely gives us options. 
Okay, doors are repaired. Like, phew, repairing takes so long with these guys because their repair speed is halved. Uh, but yeah, it is it is manageable. I would love to find some other crews so we get a, a few more blue options uh, if, if and when we can. Um, I may just take this jump just because the rest of the jumps are not that great. And if we do find a store down here, I may just go there. Um, so I'm going to take this jump over here. Okay, that is not a problem. They have a missile launcher again, but I feel pretty pretty confident that we can take care of them very very easily they do have some uh, 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 they do have a clone base so as soon as we take care of their uh, their guys I'm gonna move these two the two healthy ones into the shield room and actually no I'm gonna move all of them into the into the clone bay just to care, take care of the clone bay really really fast well that was pretty easy so yeah pretty easy fight not much to say there. So always make sure that you have an adva a man advantage uh, whenever you can. Okay, no store here, so I'll just continue this way. I don't really care about the quest that much. If I if I do get it, it's fine. If I don't, pff, I'm, I'm not that bothered. But yeah, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's that's gonna be the way, or maybe even. 11 and then go here but yeah first up here for all, follow the scrap uh i was working as a tech support person for an institute and uh, they're going offline this month so i'm out of a job oh oh that sucks man oh that really sucks um but yeah it's it's good that you're uh that you're developing yourself man oh yeah this is a horrible ship because we cannot damage this but man, that really sucks, dude. Uh, are there any other jobs in, in your area that you could apply for? Or do you just want to focus on, on learning C-sharp now and then uh, going into game dev? So they have a Zoltan shield. We have no weapons to take down their Zoltan shield. Um, so yeah, we literally just cannot do anything here. They have a level 1 uh, mind control. Um, I can see by the amount of damage that, my, that the Mantis is doing to me. Uh, I'm just gonna tank some hits, and as soon as it, uh, um, and as soon as the uh, mind control leaves us, we can just head into the med bay and actually heal up. There's not really that much to do in this fight. Like we just have to wait for our FTL to charge and then just leave. Really unfortunate, but yeah, that's what happens when you have no weapons. I think I will do game dev stuff. Um, okay, the market for game dev is really good. Yeah. Phew. So you were based in India, if I, if I remember correctly, or was, am I wrong about that? Uh, so how is the market in your area? That's that's what I want to know. Yeah, are there some companies in 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 India that would be interested in that? And is it something you can actually do remotely, or or how does that work? The stress beacon here, not great. We don't have really that many options. Oof. Doc can try to rescue. Oh, hello Jones, let's go. That's another, that's really, really good. Now we have a, a, a guy that can actually man the ship while we are boarding, that's really good. Uh, gonna go quest, distress, and then probably head over here. Uh, I don't think we can make this jump, but that's fine. That's acceptable. There are some places that have remote work options. Oh, that's nice. <coughs> I think if you do this, you can get a weapon. So I'm gonna tr Oof. I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's the next sector. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I was really worried that in, in this sector with this bad layout, we would have a quest marker somewhere over here where we don't wanna go. And, but we were so close to the exit beacon that the uh, quest is actually going to be in the next sector. So next sector, I think, if I'm not mistaken, then we get a, uh, a quest that gives us a weapon for sure. So, so far we found no stores yet, uh, which is really bad. I'm going to give you some fuel and a, I get a reactor upgrade. That is a decent trade. 25 scrap actually, that's not too bad. Yes! 
Yes. Give me a weapon. Give me a weapon. Ah, uh, um. Yeah, these ain't weapons. <clears throat> I'm thinking about the combat drone here, actually. Um, so the combat drone would enable us to take care of Zoltan shields. Oof. Let's first see what else there is. Okay, this is not great. Oof. So this is not great either. So I cannot go here because... Uh. No, I can't go. I can't go up here. So I can't go to these jumps because um, that would mean that I would have to dive. So I can take. So these two would be one entire jump because fleet pursuit is halved when you go into nebulas uh, in a non-nebula sector, and the next jump would be right here. So I could only get here, and then the the beacon would be overtaken. So I have to go to the exit now. And this probably also means that I'm not going to buy anything because then I want to save up for my scrap for the next sector and hope to find some weapons there. Uh, I can't take anything like mind control or hacking, which hacking especially not because we're already using our drone parts. Uh, but I do want some repairs and um, also some fuel. Like let's take one. I like to be at 12 for fuel and like like 20, 23 or 20, 22, 23 hull. Um, yeah, RNG Jesus, I don't know, like, I, I'm not sure if I made all the correct decisions this run, but, yeah, definitely not, not the easiest run either, <laughs> that's for sure. <clears throat> and another empty jump, so our first sector has been really bad, our second sector has been really bad, so, so far... We've actually not upgraded any of our any of our sec systems. The only thing we really have gotten is a lot more crew. That's that's really good. So that you know, I'm definitely grateful for that. But we've not upgraded any of our stuff here. So in all in all, we've only gained 48 scrap and purchased long range scanner. So technically, like what is that? 124 scrap. But yeah, not great at all. This isn't great either. <laughs> rock control is horrible. So rocks are hard to kill because they have so much so much health. And then on top of that, they have missiles, they have they have teleport sometimes and they have cloaking. Maybe not this early on in the run, but oof. Yeah, this is not this is not great at all. Definitely going to head down here. I, I need to check out loads of jumps uh, because I need to find a store. This is a guaranteed weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, let's let's first head down here. Not too bad. Uh, gonna head my guy over. Uh, teleport into their weapons, <clears throat> and hopefully try take out some of their weapons at least. So the iron get it, taking the iron down there is really, really, really good. Uh, we are going to take some damage here. I think I, I could put up a defense drone and maybe try to block one of their shots, but I'm just going to take it, I think. Uh, teleporter getting hit is not too bad. We have a we have a two, a two rock on four Manta situation going on. They will go down really, really quickly here. Very good. Very, very good. Um, oh, that's E. Oh. Oh, I just uh, pressed a wrong button. And I uh, caused a defense drone to go up. Uh, I wanted to press R to recall my guys, but it's actually taken down, so I can't even do that. Okay, good. We dodged anyway. Uh, I'm going to repair my uh, my uh, teleporter here and then get them back up. Whole laser one, really, really, really good find here because now we can actually deal with Zoltan shields uh, if we upgrade the system. Which is going to be super useful. So these two can uh, go and heal. Wasting a drone part, not the best when we are low on drones. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, I think I may just and have this guy end up here as well. Um, I would rather board faster than have a little bit more evasion at the start of a fight. Um, so it just makes more sense to have him over here. 
That's really, really, really good. Let's go another asteroid. So let's try to, to collect a bit of scrap before heading to the store. We have found what we're looking for, which is a weapon. Um, and here we just teleport in a four system room. And as soon as we take care of, of some of these guys, uh, we're going to swap uh, them around and deal with the mm, deal with the uh, clone bay situation that is going on. So these can, two can go in the clone bay and then these two can go into the shield room. That's really, really bad. Oof. I just hope that they'll have a level one clone bay and they do. That's great. This is obviously not great, but manageable again. So just going to open all of these doors to take care of the fires pretty quickly. Um, move them into one room and teleport them out. As soon as the fire is gone here, actually, I can already do this. Good. Now I can take care of the uh, shield room. So first I'm going to do the shields because we're in an asteroid field, so I can still take damage, I think, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, so definitely want to take care of the shields first and then uh, the engines. Good. Shields are up. Good stuff. <coughs> Good stuff. So this guy has a l taken a little bit of damage. Let's heal that up. Our teleporter is back online. And we got a charge too. Really, really good finds here. Really good. Oh my goodness. That's so good. See, RNG Jesus. What are you, there's, there's nothing to complain about in this run. Easy peasy. Just find weapons. No problem whatsoever. Hmm. I'm just thinking how we're going to deal with this because their weapon system is really, really good. We don't have a weapon system yet because we couldn't spend our scrap earlier. Uh, so in an asteroid field, you can never up upgrade your ship. Um, so yeah, how are we going to deal with this setup? They have a med bay and I think I'm just going to teleport into weapons and then make them go into the med bay. And if they do, I can take care of them. Uh, take care of their guys that way. So these these two, these guys are all healing. Okay, this is re this is horrible. Okay, I need to get this healed up. Okay, that's really really good. Oof, I'm gonna take some more damage here. I don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. That's not great. This is really not great. But we're gonna we're taking care of their weapons. That's really good. Uh, I'm just going to move into their shield room now because, like I said, they always prioritize their shield room. Um, so as soon as we're in there, we can just uh, pummel them. <coughs> and since they're rocks, they move quite slowly, so we might just be able to get a kill here. Yeah, perfect. And now we can try to move into the... Um, Med bay room. Maybe we can take care of them this way. Maybe not though. That's fine. Just swap you out for someone else. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Okay, we got Philip. Let's go, Philip. Um, a few damage mantises. Not to worry though. We have a med bay. Uh, very good fight there. Um, we took a little bit of damage. Maybe. Could, have, could that have been avoided? I mean, you can always shoot down uh, um, the flak cannon with the defense drone. But the flak cannon actually also has fake projectiles. They don't deal damage, but sometimes the defense drone shoots at them rather than at the actual projectiles that deal damage. So, yeah, it's a it's a tricky one, to, to say the least. Going to put uh, uh, Philip on... Um, on the uh, engines here just to get a little bit more evasion i think it's going to be five percent yeah exactly uh and i'm going to upgrade my ship after the store i think i'm just going to go store now and then just keep my options open over here 
on how I want to move. This sector is really well connected, so I'm, I'm not too worried that I'm not going to uh, have enough jumps in the end. Distress beacons also become more interesting now because we have a rock. So, yeah, that's going to be something to, to think about as well. Okay, again, not great options, uh, but we definitely need some fuel. So I'm just going to get that. And then going to get some repairs. Uh, and then going to get some of this going. So now we have a four projectile laser weapon that we can use. Uh, that is really fast firing, so against Zoltan Shields, we're also really, really well set up. Um, and if we encounter a Zoltan Shield, I will just move one of these guys to the weapons room so that our uh, uh, charge laser is charging even faster. What I really want to get is teleporter level 2, because then I can deal with auto scouts much easier. Uh, but yeah, having, having a uh, 4 laser weapon right now in, in sector 2 is definitely really good. I'm also going to take one more power in engines just because 10 scrap and it's going to give me 5% evasion, which is a lot at this point. Um, so yeah, that just helps. I'm uh, going to follow the scrap here. So one, two, three, four, and then head up. Um, definitely want to get this quest. Like I said, I think it's a weapon if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that can be either sold or it can just be really useful for us. I think same deal here, just going to move into weapons and take them down pretty quickly. They don't have any sort of... Um, uh, wow, this was really good. This was a really long 4 and one situation, and now a 4 and one again. So we're going to take them out really quickly. I, don't, I think we're going to take damage here because their weapon system is really good. But yeah, not, not too bad a fight at all. Really good. Uh, okay. So here's something that you can do. I'm going to move, teleport these... Ah, uh, fuck. Fucker. I think I can just... Yeah, okay. So I avoided some laser shots there by just um, uh, jumping straight as they, uh, as my, my guys are on the ship. So I just avoided some damage there. And as you can see, they're safe and sound on my ship. And yeah, that rock is not going to have a good time. They have a clone bay, which is not too great but at least the defense drone can't do much uh, since we have or the, the the missile can't do much since we have a defense drone good and now we're just gonna board with the four mantis uh, into their weapons room and then the healthy guys are gonna go into there and the other ones are gonna go into their uh, clone bay so they, they're going to clone the guy that just went over. So I just want to take care of the clone bay as fast as possible. Uh, one of the ways to also do that is just by firing the laser that we have just gotten. Very good. And now we can get all of them into one room and just kill them off that way. Luckily, the defense drone is doing its, uh, is doing its job. So we don't have to worry about the missiles at all. So we just have to think about our guys here. Low scrap reward, I think. Uh, quite unfortunate since we... Uh, did use a, a drone part and everything, but yeah, nothing we can do. We can heal our guy by, by moving him in through the, uh, through the medbay room while all of the uh, slots are occupied. That's just something you can do with every single medbay where you have where you can move uh, uh, your, your guys through. So that is something to, to, to think about when, when, you when you're in a tough spot and you want to heal several people, uh, you can actually do it that way. Good, let's see. Distress beacon and then these and then this jump here. I think that's the way, eh? Distress, this, 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 exit. I think that's gonna be our best bet to get as many jumps as possible. Distress beacon, are we actually equipped for that? I wanna get level two teleported beforehand. I don't think we need to upgrade our defense just yet. Mm, I think it's good enough for now. I want the second teleporter just in case uh, one level goes down. Um, so we actually have some some wiggle room to play with and actually get our guys out of sticky situations. Um, let's destroy the ship. They're just powered. Go up here. Follow the scrap. Um, 
Oh, yeah, this is... <laughs> I mean, I think if I put the rock crew member on the com, we're going to fight the ship anyway. Uh, yeah, the two... <laughs> Cave-dwelling pebble man. <laughs> okay, yeah. So they're going to board us anyway, which is fine. I mean, I'm just going to let them board me and then I'm just going to take care of them. So always, my, my guys always win uh, just because it's a two-on-one situation. When, he, when he's about halfway dead, I'm, I'm gonna swap these, uh, I'm gonna swap these guys around. And now I'm gonna board them. I do wanna take care of this. Uh, ah, that's unfortunate. So we're gonna take some, some damage off the halberd beam here. So one damage, that's okay. Uh, and, and now I can just move into there. Uh, into their weapons room and take care of them so they're gonna move into their med bay but as soon as we um, as soon as our charge laser is charged I can just fire at this and then take it down that way I'm gonna take it down as soon as they they get out of the room though so right here good perfect I think the, the um, NG actually got killed as it was moving through uh, back into the med bay because only the Mantis was alive at the end. Let's heal our guys back up. Okay, and we move them back into positions. Charge that back up and head over. Perfect. Very good. Recovery of a run so far. Uh, definitely uh, struggles in the early game, but afterwards nothing but smooth sailing. Um, yeah, this also is just an easy, easy takeout. I should focus on my defense a little bit in the in the near future, um, because they're like they didn't even fire. I think um, uh, because when we're boarding we just want to be well equipped defensively to be able to deal with their border with uh, with their weapon systems so yeah that's gonna be my next focus i'm uh, gonna go one two three like i mentioned i think that's pretty good okay uh so it's a drone part that we got not too bad either uh n24 scrap very good uh, don't, not really gonna use the fire the the, the fire beam drone, uh, but yeah, definitely good for vendors. Um, this is actually a dangerous one. Mm. So search for the ship. I think can also double your fleet pursuit, which is not great because then we would have to deal with a dive. I'm gonna do it still though. Uh, um. I think even if we dive, we can just take care of their uh, uh, the enemy crew pretty easily, and then uh, deal with um, and then deal with the uh, ASB after that. Use the teleporter to attempt to board the ship and release some of the slaves. That sounds pretty good. I don't want to miss a booger for thirty five, but I would like to get some. Uh, oh, a weapon strain guy. That's pretty good. Actually, that's actually pretty good for our charge laser and here we can just take take care of our teleport into their uh, clone bay and as soon as as these guys die we should take care of the clone bay so quickly unless they have like a level three clone bay yeah no level one no problem whatsoever very nice very easy fight easy fights are the best easy fights are the best okay we have a lot of scrap nothing really to spend it on just yet Mantis control is not too bad, but if, uh, I, do I like civilian sector here? Oof. Civilian sector is easy. And pretty high scrap rewards. Mantis controlled, I have to deal with borders. And I think civilian controlled has a little bit higher chance of having th two or three stores. So I think I'm going to civilian controlled. I can deal with Automated ships now pretty easily as well. So all of the nebulas that show up in in uh, civilian sectors I can take now um, So yeah, let's head up here see if this is a, a ship fight if it is I might go over here and head back down 
Um, yeah, I don't want to spend my, my scrap before heading to the store. I think we're strong enough to, to be able to take enemy ships as we are currently. I Like I said, I would like to upgrade my defense though. Um, let's try to be a hero and attack the pirate. Definitely one of the more tougher ship fights that we could have encountered. But I think with level 2 teleporting, we should be able to deal with this, no problem. Uh, I, I want to head into the um, into this room here, just to be able to uh, get them all into one room. Uh, so, we, uh, so we can move them in and out pretty easily. So right here, as you can see, I want to move these guys in there. Like that. And now we just swap them around. And that was only possible because I destroyed the room, the, the door with the other guys. So that's something to be cognizant about. That you, because they have upgraded doors, you can't always... Um, uh, you can't always uh, uh, move your guys out as you want. Um, so I'm not going to destroy the, the ship and salvage it. I think if you do, you can still get your guys out. I'm not entirely certain. Um, but using them to delay the um, the fleet pursuit is always going to be useful. So salvaging it, I think, is also going to give you a low scrap reward. And since we um, since we always destroy or pretty much always destroy the ships by um, by killing all of their crew, we're almost guaranteed to get high scrap rewards. So I'm going to use the the leverage to this, to delay uh, the fleet pursuit here. Gonna get my guys back and then heal them back up. And gonna heal this guy like that. Good stuff. Okay, lots of ship fights, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then head back down here. Um, yeah, definitely gonna get a lot of scrap before the store, and the nice thing is we don't have to put any more effort into getting fuel here. Uh, Zolt and Shield, really bad, but they have two beams, so maybe they can't even damage me, and it sure looks like it. Oh, another beam, and only one iron weapon, so they can't damage me, which is really useful. That means I'm gonna auto-fire my, um, my charge laser uh, at their shields just to be able to take down their Zolt and Shield, and as soon as that happens, I'm gonna board them with my insane boarding crew. I may just wait a little bit until they're um, until they're uh, uh, until the charge laser charges a little bit to be able to take down their uh, med bay whenever I whenever I need to. So something like this, and now we can damage them. Ooh, that's a lot of mantises. Mm -hmm. Oof! I do not like that at all. Okay, who is who's struggling? You guys are struggling. Good. Med bay is down. The mantises can't repair them. And now I can just take care of the, the leftover mantis. Very, very good. Easy peasy. Um, so they have two mantises and two... Well, non-mantises. Uh, I think an NG and a, and a human. So the NG does half damage. And the human does, does normal damage, in quotation marks. Uh, so, yeah, you just have to manage your crew and, and figure out, okay, which one is getting damaged by the Mantis and then swap them around uh, whenever you want the... Uh, whenever you want to, to uh, adjust the health bars a little bit. Okay, so it seems like I have to go either down here to get onto this side or up here. So I'm going to get take one, two, three three maybe something down here but i can always head back up this way uh which is probably what i'm gonna go for anyway okay so they have a uh, boarding drone does not really matter to me i think i can just get in there uh, it should all be humans and yeah that is completely fine with me no problem at all just gonna wait for my charge laser to charge up and uh, as soon as it does, I'm gonna fire in here. Oh yeah, yeah. you gotta move out there, buddy. 
Bud Bud. Taking care of the last guy, and that's it. Easy peasy, let's go. More weapons for me. For moi. Mm -hmm. uh, let's heal up that guy. Take care of the breach. And heal all of my guys back up. Good stuff. Oh, yes. So I recently got an AC installed in my apartment as well. Man, such a blessing. It's been uh, it's been pretty hot in, uh, in this apartment recently. So, yeah, I'm definitely happy with, with the decision to get an AC. Uh, let's have our charge laser online again. 250 scrap, definitely a lot of scrap. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we can find. If we can find some form of defensive... Uh, augment here like uh, cloaking I may just take that uh, together with the flag one not too bad definitely gonna sell the fire beam and I think also the boarding drone uh, because I don't think we need the boarding drone anymore um, gonna get cloaking this will be my final system slot I think that's fine uh, cloaking synergize really well I think with um, uh, with a boarding strat uh, just because it gives you the ability to um, uh, to endure while you are uh, fighting on the enemy ship. Okay, Cyberpunk, and see you later, buddy. Nice, uh, nice of you to stop by. See you, man. Uh, so the um, so that's definitely a really good benefit there, and I think I'm gonna get the flag one as well, and just sell off the chain laser and the boarding drone to get that online. Uh, flag one, obviously a really, really good weapon. Um, gonna be able to deal with the um, what's it called with the uh, Zoltan shield of the flagship very easily. Uh, so yeah, gonna get this, sell this bad boy because it's pretty useless to be honest, and sell the boarding drone as well. Um, and then just gonna get our flag online like that and now we have the option to uh, just swap around some power uh, to get uh, the cloaking online let's see is there anything else i would like to get backup battery as well i was thinking about that earlier but um i don't know i like the whole smasher laser just because it gives me the ability to fire off uh, uh to have uh what is this a uh four seven power weapon system already uh, so this could be our late game setup the timings of these are not that great so yeah it's not the best weapon setup ever but it's good enough at this point and we can deal with any sort of uh enemy um uh enemy automated ships uh with our weapon systems right now um do we want a shield operator or do we want scrap? I think that's that's what this is. Um, I think at this point scrap is pretty much king. Um, we don't need to fight that, I think. A heavily damaged federation ship is hiding in a nebula. Hmm. Uh, so I think this is just a, a crew member. And this might be extra scrap as well. I'm not entirely certain about that though. Maybe this is also just a crew member. I'm just gonna go with this. Okay, Rebecca, that's that's fine. Uh, that's really, really good actually, you know, think about it. Um, so now we actually have a trained pilot. That's so good. Okay, so both of them were... Um, were beacons that um, both of them were options that you can just get a um, uh, a crew member from it, which is not bad. So I'm just gonna head over here. I think I'm not even gonna bother with these because I want to get up here and then head back down to the exit beacon. Uh, it's not the best exit beacon connecting. Uh, it, like we need to connect to to this big uh, to this beacon up here and then head back. But yeah, it is what it is. Definitely want to take the two extra jumps though, even though they're empty. 
Um, attack the pirate and teleport. I mean, that's just the name of the game with this uh, with this ship. I mean, you can see how quickly this mantis dies. So insane. Four mantis boarding is absolutely insane. Look at this. We took what is this? Twenty eight and eighteen damage from from this ship. Like, like it's so insane. Our mantises are very well trained. Yeah, all level one, and these two are actually level two as well. Uh, pretty, it's pretty insane. Gonna head this. Gonna head here first, and then head over. I'm uh, just gonna follow the scrap again. Um, getting a few more power bars here is gonna be useful because I can then switch it around to cloaking if I need to. And I would like to get level four uh, engines right now to be able to. Um, to get 100% dodge once I uh, once I activate my cloak. Let's teleport in there. Uh, gonna do the same thing that I uh, mentioned earlier. Just gonna take care of their of their what's it called here? Oh wow, they have level wow, they have level three med bay. That's pretty sick. I think we should be able to take care of this. I'm not entirely certain though. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. But that's really, really bad. So I'm just gonna move them out there temporarily just to fire in there now with my three lasers. And now I should be able to take care of them regardless of what happens. Good. So I didn't care that mine, that we were fighting and fired just because I knew they would die faster than I would. Um, I am gonna need to go through it, but as soon as they're all in the same room, I'm gonna teleport them out, all out at once. So that's something that I explained earlier. You can just do that if you, uh, if you move them into the room next to it and they walk through that same room um, that you want to teleport them out of, uh, you can teleport all of them at once. So them ironing my shields there was really tricky just because they had a burst laser too. So yeah, that, that could have gone way, way worse than it actually did. I should have activated my cloak most likely. Maybe I think that would, that would have been the play. So yeah, all again, a mistake on my end. Philip needs some training, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna try to squeeze in some training in the, in the next few sectors. Uh, yeah, let's, let's respond. Let's get some, uh, Let's investigate. Okay, that's an easy investigate. Let's head here and then here and then head back down. Okay, let's accept some fuel and another quest marker. Okay, let's go one, two, three and then head back down. Hmm. I think if I, I think I'm already on max, right? I think eight is the max that you can get. We can teleport. If it's an NG, I'll drop one of my, nope, it's not. Uh, yeah, I don't need a weapon trained mantis. Uh, so yeah, I just teleported you onto my ship, but uh, out the airlock you go. Teleport all of them in here. Same procedure as always, pretty much. Just gonna pummel them. If they have, don't have a med bay or a clone bay, pff, really, really easy to deal with. Uh, <laughs> I feel so sorry for the guy. That, like, he was so happy. Finally, I'm free of the slavers. <laughs> and then he gets chucked right out, the, right out of the airlock. Oh, man. That cracks me up. That's funny. Uh, I gotta head over here and then back. And then I think it's gonna be straight to the exit after that. Uh, let's see, two more of that and then one more of that, I think is gonna be the way. This could be a trap as well. Um, so sometimes these things are, yeah, okay. Well, this is, this is a trap. <laughs> um, so let's teleport in there. They might have an anti-combat drone. Um, and I'm actually gonna charge up my defense drone because I saw a drone part coming towards me and I, I, I want to take care of this as well. The missiles. Okay, this should be pretty, pretty easy though. 
Uh, I'm gonna take care of their shield like that, and then their clone bay like that. Perfect. Okay, Dawn, that's, 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 see, that's useful. And this way is not. So, yeah, you're, uh, you're gone, Jones. I think he was the first guy that we got, uh, actually. But, uh, not, nevertheless, if you outlive your usefulness, then you are out the airlock. I'm gonna put this guy on shields. Yeah, he, he doesn't have any training yet, but having an NG is really good for uh, for blue options. So definitely useful there. Um, okay, how does it go with training? Elizabeth is a bit low on training and... Um, yeah, let's see. Let's let's see if that that increases uh, or improves in the next uh, in the next few jumps. So maybe you can. Sometimes you can swap them around, and then it's like a little bit easier because I think the way the AI prioritizes certain. Like if you, let's say you teleport into a shield room, I think it puts the toughest fighter into that room first. So if it's like a rock or a mantis, that the first. The, the one in the top left corner will, will never get as much training as the other guys. So that's why the guy the, the guys on the on the right and on the bottom right have more have are more trained than the guys on the left. At least that's my theory for it. Uh, be in the carbon board and leave them to their fate. Um, y yeah. I'm tempted to do this. I don't think I've ever done that. I can't... Uh, I can't remember. Uh, hmm. It's a severely damaged ship. I don't even know if it's a pirate ship or not. Uh, we'll share the re reward and join your crew. Yeah, I just want the reward. Yeah, perfect. That's, that's really good. That's just uh, um, uh, more scrap. Uh, I don't want them to join my crew because I'm already full on crew, so I d don't need that. I don't... Mm. No, I'm not going to go to the store. I have nothing. I have a few things to sell, but I think uh, um, uh, taking a dive now would be a mistake. Uh, so I'm just going to go exit here because I don't think this is one more jump. I think it's going to be right here somewhere. Uh, the... Uh, Oh, that's really good. Intervene and defend the outpost. Yeah, sure. Let's go. They can't damage us as well. Let's go. We don't need the teleporter for this one. Uh, so I'm just going to switch to uh, cloaking. I'm just going to dodge this um, iron weapon. Then we're going to be completely safe. And now I'm going to hit their weapons as soon as my charge laser is charged. Perfect. As soon as we take down their weapons, we're completely safe actually there's a small chance that we get hit here from the combat run because it can double fire but yeah very small chance <clears throat> let's take down their shields next and once we do that we should be golden okay i can just auto fire this right now um nah, actually i should fire here Good stuff. Okay, lots and lots of scrap. Very nice. Very, very good. Not going to take the distress here. Um, it is one more jump, but I don't think it's worth diving for it. Although, if I take one more here, and I take one more here. Hmm. Nah, I think I, I just want to go to the next sector, upgrade my shields, and then be done with it uh, I think upgrading my shields next sector is gonna be key uh, actually I uh, take it back upgrading my oxygen is gonna be key uh, so because we're gonna go into a slug nebula there's actually two things I'm gonna do I'm gonna upgrade my piloting and I'm gonna upgrade my O2 and yeah I'm just gonna get one more power bar I think so the oxygen and the and the uh, um, so the oxygen is mainly just because we are going into slug nebula and slugs tend to, they, they like to mess with your O2, and if you have level 2 O2, you can counter that. 
the level two piloting is because if there are beacons next to you um, with an iron storm without a ship, then you can get um, an advanced piloting um, event and that can give you like weapons and crew and scrap, like lots of good stuff. So yeah, this is just a, a precautionary matter. This is actually, uh, this will actually help you. I could have done that as well if, um, because we can see with long range scanners where if there's an iron storm at the next beacon, so we, you, we could have done it like that as well. But yeah, spending my scrap here is going to be worth it in the long run, I think. Um, yeah, engage the slug ship. Maybe that's a double reward. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. That is unfortunate. Uh, I would like to take that distress, but I would like to if even more find a store here to sell off my, my junk. Uh, that we have in our cargo hold at the moment. So yeah, definitely gonna go for that. That's really good. I love finding uh, ships like this. I'm just gonna let them teleport onto my ship and then take care of them like that. Mm, that is not a great position to be in. Maybe I should have teleported onto their ship straight away. Ah, fuck. We took a damage as well. That's not great. Another damage. Whew. That's really bad, actually. So we're just gonna punch down their um, their stuff here. Uh, I don't really need to worry about anything else. Uh, my crew is gonna be safe here, and I just want to get some some a little bit more training of this. That's not great either. Now they're gonna teleport back and now we're just gonna go into the shield room and they should follow us. And we kill them. Um, no, I, I, if it was an engine trained a rock, then I would take it, but like this, no, not really, not really that useful. So out there, look you go. Um, get these guys back, get the rock to fix the fire, and then these guys to take care of the fire as well, or to take, uh, to get healed up. So, get some repairs going. Okay. Heal everyone back up. And back to the station they go. Good stuff. Like this guy has a little bit of damage, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. There's my store. Okay. So now I can just move into the nebula uh, without having to worry about not finding a store. I know where the store is, so I can just move there. Um, okay. In this case, you like... We definitely want the Mantis to oversee the repairs because they will always... Like, slugs mess with you in, in so many ways. So, yeah, let's uh, oversee the repairs and... Uh, okay. Mm, nothing is wrong with the O2. Almost not expecting it. Okay. Wow. That's free scrap. That's fine. That's, that's perfect. I love free scrap. Free scrap is the best scrap. And let's go next. Um, I don't trust them at all, but I want to steal their goods. We're still pretty healthy and the store is not that far away. So if we take some damage here, it's not that bad. Um, we're still going to take damage here. Uh, we're still gonna take damage here. This is just... No, oh, of course. Of course there are intruders on board. Where where are they? In the drone room. Of course there are. Luckily we have a weapon system that can now deal with this. And also a defensive system that can also deal with this. Um, let's see, how do we want to play this? 
I think I'm just gonna teleport in here and just start punching down their uh, their weapon system. So right here, they're moving in to, to protect the weapons, but as soon as we move into the shield room, uh, they move into uh, they move their guy into the shields as well. So here I'm just gonna drop the O2 for a second just to get a 95% dodge. And now we're just gonna punch down the weapons like this. Yeah, they can't hit us anymore as soon as the weapons are down. There's, there's one, there's only one guy in here and only one guy in here, and the, there's no doors in this um, in this ship, so we can actually just um, take our time here, uh, get some more training. I don't think we need any more training. Oh yeah, this guy needs some training. So let's let's just have hit him uh, hit, uh, punch down the uh, the shield room there, and then these two guys, I'm gonna get healed up. So weapons can never be, uh, never come online again. So that's really good. And I'm just going to use these two guys to then uh, take care of the last enemy on their ship. Okay, that's one more point of training, and I'm just going to get this last point of training from the from the piloting room. Just going to squeeze out a little bit of training here. So I think this should be enough. One thing to note here is that you can't move these guys around. So be careful with sending in damaged crew members because, like as you can see, I can't send them out of the room because there's no doors here. So yeah, that's something to to you know take into account as well. That if there's no doors, you can't do the switching trick. So in this case, like if you want to do the switching trick, like you pause the game, you send them out of the room, and if you want this guy to come over here, you have to put him in first. As you can see here, now this is highlighted, and then this guy. And it the order depends on the shape of the room that you're in. So uh, if it's if it's this room right here, we'll go from top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. That's how they would fill in the, the room. And um, so if I if I move this guy out of the room here and move him into the room, he's gonna go into this into this square. And that's just uh, so it doesn't matter if I put my my if I hover over this one or this one, even if I hover here, he's still going to go into there because it's always going to fill up from top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So that's how how the um, room assignment works for uh, for the AI. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, you can also get scrap. That's great. So I thought this was just going to be another crew member <laughs> that we send out the airlock. But uh, apparently you can also get scrap. That's great to know. Okay, one more jump here. Uh, head over there. Store and then head back down. I think this all connects very nicely. <gasps> so we have lots of options over there. Definitely going to take free scrap when I see it. And this... Oof, I mean, it's not free scrap, but it's scrap. Nevertheless. This is always a bit tricky when they have a mind control uh, thingy because uh, you know it might uh, turn out really really bad. Uh, definitely gonna take care of this uh, with our um, defense drone or with our cloaking. Don't know yet. But also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take care of their clone bay. Good shit, and that should be it. I've moved my pilot back into position, and now I'm gonna cloak for 95% dodge to dodge the missile. So I saw that the missile fired uh, before, and I just want to dodge that, uh, just to not take any unnecessary damage, which which it really would be. I mean, it would be so unnecessary. So I'll also take this opportunity to heal up my rock, because why not? So, let's see, this guy is healed up, this guy is healed up, and now these two, good. And then everyone is healed up and ready to go. Okay, so this guy is almost leveled, uh, that's really nice to see. I'm gonna take this jump, then over here. I don't want to take these empty jumps, empty jumps in, in, in nebulas are generally really just empty jumps. Just nothing to gain, which is, you know, not really what you want from it. 
So in this case, I think I'm just going to head over without them teleporting onto me first. Uh, I think I can take a few mantises and yeah, I can just take care of their um, of their med bay or of their clone bay pretty easily. Perfect. I mean, just like that. That was a perfect example. So just knowing that you have the weapon system to back up your your guys uh, by taking down clones bay and clone bay and mid bay, I think that's super important. Okay, another store. That's really good. Let's go stores. We can't get any more subsystems, but we can get um, maybe some drones or better weapon systems, which we are not able to get. But that's fine. Uh, we can definitely deal with that. Backup battery is really good. Definitely gonna get that. It's gonna be free power for either our teleporter, which is most likely gonna be the case, or our um, uh, or our engines or our, uh, um, what's it called the cloaking defense drone. Like there's so many possibilities for for a for backup power, backup battery. Uh, I don't necessarily want to heal yet. There's uh, or to repair my ship, there's a store right here as well. So I, I just want to scan the, the immediate area here and then just uh, uh, kill whatever is there. So this is really good. So this is why we upgraded the oxygen. As you can see here, they try to completely block off our oxygen. And by upgrading it, we got this blue option. And now one level of oxygen is still remaining. Really, really good that we got that. Uh, because it definitely enabled us to to uh, to just unlock that option. Very very nice. Very happy that we uh, that we played it this way. So I'm just gonna dodge this one uh, because I don't want any fires to start on my ship. And by dodging it, I um, I know that this won't penetrate shields. So I'm just gonna be completely safe uh, once I punch this down. Good. Very nice. My my uh, Philip got an extra training, so that means two percent more evasion. Really, really good. Uh, they're both pretty healthy, so I'm just gonna send them in as is. Uh, let's go. Fight, my boys. Fight. Good shit. No problems whatsoever. And Elizabeth tanked all of the hits. Let's go. <sighs> Back into positions. And let's go. Not gonna go to the store yet. Gonna check out the this jump first. Always follow the scrap, so just just take as much scrap as you as you can before going to a store. Um Pretty easy fight, I would say. Not expecting too much resistance here. Three people, but yeah, not not that strong of fighters. Their weapon system is really is pretty slow with the halberd beam, so yeah, yeah, not that much to say about that one. Okay. <coughs> pretty easy ship fights, and we actually got a laser charger as well, and the good thing is the next stop is a store, so we can sell all of this junk we get lots of scrap and we have more space um, sell that, sell that sell that, sell that very good, and I'm thinking about the halberd beam here, halberd beam is really really good hull repair as well by the way so I'm thinking about hull repair and halberd beam so halberd beam would be really good because it would enable us to to get rid of the hull laser and it actually fires off um in sync with the charge laser pretty well so charge laser this has a charge time of 20 seconds uh, in total um and the halberd beam has a charge time of 17 so not too much of a difference there for the long um charge time of this weapon um Halberd Beam is a really powerful weapon, so definitely worth considering. Right now we have so much scrap that I would be willing to go for it. Um, and we can also sell our whole laser then uh, to replace it. We're only in Sector 5 and we can almost just upgrade this straight away. So I'm just going to take this. So maybe I'm just going to hold on to the whole laser in the meantime. 
Just to have some intermediate weapon. Although... I can just go charge laser help beam right now. So this is just to kill off the flagship in the end. Uh, hull repair is also a really good one. We only have 10 drone parts though. Uh, so drones are 8. Okay. Um, so not really... Yeah, hull repair is really good, but it's I think it's too expensive to just buy it in the store. I think if you find it though, so powerful. So, so powerful. Okay, I want to get get more shields and stuff. So let's uh, let's get that. Let's get that, and then one more level of dodge would be nice as well. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have gone and bought the power bar because I have backup battery. I think that would have been smarter. Scrap recovery harm is really is something. I mean, I'm not gonna buy it. Like this is this is usually not worth it in hard mode because you don't get enough scrap from it. Like it takes 500 scrap just to uh, uh, get the value back from it uh, that you invested in it with the 50 scrap. So it's not that great. Uh, definitely gonna get some repairs though. Only up to 20, I think. We're pretty uh, good at keeping our health the way it is with. A defense drone and a uh, um, and the cloak, so I don't think we need anything else just yet. Uh, I think we're well well enough equipped to deal with um, the next the next sectors. So I'm gonna go here, 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 and then uh, head down. Maybe we're gonna have to dive, but I don't think it's an issue at this point. Um, I think we can deal with uh, with uh, borders pretty easily. And yeah, the ship shouldn't be too much of an issue either. I'm just gonna board into their shield room here and we should be able to take care of them rather easily. They have a... Um, they have a missile weapon here, but also that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Very good, their med is down. They can just kill them off in here. Mm -hmm. My guys are dying on my ship. Our med bay is taken down, I just noticed that. Uh, let's see, which one is not damaged? Not all of them are damaged. Um, 85% dodge is not enough for me, I think. I, I, I think I would rather use a drone part to make sure that we're completely safe. Um, there were a few guys of mine were low. So if the missile would have hit this this room here, my two guys would have died. And I would I want to avoid that as much as possible. So taking a drone defense drone up there, uh, getting that operational is, I think, the correct choice. Just to make sure that you don't die to something like this. Because that can be a run-ender. L you losing your crew in a run like this where crew is essential oof man that's that's rough yeah all it takes is one missile to uh, to take down your 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 crew and then you can be in a really rough spot at that point uh, definitely gonna take these two jumps and then head down to the exit. Okay, they have a cloak. I don't think they can damage us. Maybe they can damage us if all three hit and then this thing also hits. But yeah, very unlikely. Uh, I think it's more likely that we actually kill them before that actually happens. Good. Their med bay is down. That's really, really good. Just gonna keep the four and one situation going here until their guys are dead, and then gonna move into the med bay myself. Okay, so here we can take damage. So their their missile is on their their uh, uh, ions all hit us. Their weapon is on the way, and these are almost firing. So I'm just gonna cloak and avoid that issue altogether. 
Yes, that's a sound we haven't heard in a long time. And they're dead. Perfect. So this was a tough ship, actually. Um, rather tough compared to the ships that we had before. Um, so the, the toughest part of this was obviously the, uh, the cloaking device that they had. Um, making it really difficult to teleport out of their ship. Uh, <laughs> making it really tough to, to jump out of their ship uh, at, at, a t at a time that is convenient to us. But uh, yeah, uh, it, we managed in the end. Hello Zambani, how's it going man? I mean, do you see the ship? Do you see the marvelousness of the ship? Look at this, full crew, four boarding. Four, uh, four man teleporter, defense set up, defense set up, defense set up, and offense going in sector five. Let's go, let's go, and that and that after a really rough start actually. So yeah, definitely very happy about this. Um, now I'm happy that I still have the whole laser, so I would rather use the whole laser here to take care of their weapons than. Uh, uh, then the flak because the flak has an area of effect and this uh, is more guaranteed to hit I think I can auto fire here. I, I chose to auto fire just a charge laser But I think both of them can just auto fire and we should be all right Okay, that's great. Can you please uh, not miss maybe? No, that is not great Then I have to use a defense which is also fine Uh, come on, please hit. <laughs> yeah, well, oof, that was uh, that was close. Let's just hit the, the piloting now, and we should be we should be all right. Well, if we can actually hit piloting, that is good. Good stuff. Just some patience there. Let, I'm, I'm really happy that I kept the whole laser, even though the, the halberd beam would have been better here, even. Maybe the halberd beam is better in general. Maybe this is just a better setup. Not sure. Not sure at all. Exit time. Okay, let's inquire about the specialty door subsystem. Let's go. Yeah, I was gonna get doors eventually anyway and upgrading doors is really useful in general So getting that for for a cheaper price is very very nice I'm gonna avoid Zoltan control back that plague because I mean Zoltan shield is horrible for us to deal with If you have a boarding strat so going into slug controlled nebula is, is definitely the way to go Especially because we already have level 202 so we don't have to invest in that we have level 2 piloting as well uh, which is also really good for um, for uh, this type of sector. Uh, the exit beacon is nice on uh, and far on the top right, so uh, I'm gonna uh, just follow the scrap and follow the ship fights. Let's attack the ship. Go into here and load up the defense drone because I don't want to deal with boarding and shizzle. Um, uh, if you consider mods, how about actually not sucking up the game? Uh, well, well, about that last part, you know, sucking up the game, that is not something I can change. I, you know, I, I just suck. That's, that's, that's a given. That's, that's something that you accept once you click on the, the, uh, once you click on my Twitch. Uh, so that, that's, you know, that should not be even up for discussion. Uh, but yeah, I'm really good, man. How was the... Midsummer festival that you had, I think last weekend or the weekend before or something. Uh, not too long ago, I know that for a fact. Mm -hmm. Let's kill their med bay. Oh, that's great. Let's go. Oh, our, our teleporter got hit. Not too much of a difficulty though. <laughs> yeah, no, really good, man. Um, just uh, one, two of my interns uh, that I'm uh, that I am supporting at my company. Uh, they uh, defended their dissertation on last last Thursday, 
So they were, uh, they both passed, so that's really nice. Um, so yeah, life's, uh, life's good. We can perform last, but it was great and very hot. Okay. Uh, okay, hot and sweaty, not in a good way. Come on, man. That's like the best way, no? I thought uh, you were going there with a special someone as well, so hot and sweaty is the way it should have ended. At least I'm hoping for you. God damn. Ha! <laughs> These slugs! They're getting murdered by mantises, that's so sick. I'm gonna get level 2 um, medbay here as well. There are certain events in slug sectors that um, that also disable your medbay. And upgrading the medbay can also, uh, also makes your troops heal faster. So it's just a benefit for... Just to save a little bit of time. Um, I'm, again, so many ship fights here. I'm just gonna uh, you know, walk, go around here and just uh, get all the, the things uh, sorted. Okay, oxygen event again. That is great. And that is also great that our weapons guy got, got, got uh, uh, disabled. So we can just take care of the slugs in the meantime. They shouldn't matter too much. Uh, I'm not imagining it to, to be too bad. Uh, let's see. The brick went before wood us, but it was great. Huh? Um, oh, shit. 30 degrees. That's, that's pretty sick. Oh, very nice. Good to hear that things are going well, man. Very, very good. That is always nice to hear, no? Always good. Okay, just one, two more slugs to deal with. Uh, I'm not expecting any issues in that, in that regard. Let's go. Get all of these guys healed up. And now we can actually do it a little bit faster. Let's go. Um, I don't know why this thing... Oh yeah, we, we lost some power there. That's obvious. Good, good. Nice to hear that it's going well, man. Uh, that's that's always positive. Um, we're just going to attack the automated ship and get to the station. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, I got to think about this. Okay, this we can deal with that. We can actually get a lot of training here. A lot of training. Oh, very nice. Okay, we're going to be trained after this. That's really good. Uh, actually, our, our shield guy, not so much, eh? Good stuff. And I'm just going to wait for, for this to charge up to damage their weapons, I think. Oh, that's so sick. Here, I'm just going to cloak. Perfect. The thing is down. And now I'm going to go help. I would love to go Halbert, but I can't um, because I am a dumbass that didn't buy any sort of weapons power, even though I have a lot of scrap. Um, yeah, no need to worry for power there. Shields are slowly getting... Um, the shield guy is slowly getting trained. That's really good. Now I am going to change to the Halbert beam, so I'm going to flag Halbert. I think that's... Uh, a pretty safe bet. Uh, uh, so why have to deal and not salt the game? <laughs> I fucking love you, dude. That's so good. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I was just feeling it. I uh, don't know. I was just feeling like playing this game. Good stuff. Okay, took one damage there. Uh, because our defense drone got taken down by this bad boy. Um, but yeah, we can just get another one up. Okay, well, that, that didn't go as planned. And Oh no, I, I want this guy to get some training. So I'm just going to keep him there. Um, yeah, I think this should be more than enough training. Uh, I'm just going to kill him now. Uh, was just feeling FTL. And maybe I'll do some, some salt the game after this, but uh, I'm not sure yet. Let's investigate. Nothing useful, unfortunate. But that is okay. 
Sold the game. Oh, it's... Yeah. Classics and Barney for you. Okay, one, two, three. Let's hit the store with a lot of scrap. Man, this run is going so well. Famous last words, eh? Yeah, this should not be on. We should have this on for now. Um, yeah, let's just let's just get right in there. I don't want them to teleport onto my ship. I think there's too much of a pain to deal with. Whoa, lots and lots of mantises. Fuck. Jeez. That's a lot of mantises. Okay, let's get in there. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Good stuff. Nothing to worry about. Easy peasy. Let's go. Is our shields guy trained already? No, it's not. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I. I <laughs> do. What is what is Rainbow Siege? Rainbow Six Siege. What is that? Rainbow Six. I, um, I've never heard that. Heard of that? Oh man, this is so good. Oh yeah. I think I'm just gonna sell the whole laser here and then just get the um, the halberd online together with the other weapon system. Oh, this is so sick. Okay, let's go. Halbert is online. Let's freaking go. And I have enough power with the backup battery and the thingies as well. That's so sick. Man, this run is going so smoothly. Okay, for now I'm just going to ignore the store unless I find a lot of crew. Seats 5v5 operator tactical FPS where you stare at a pixel. <laughs> okay. Okay, it sounds very much like my my CS games way 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 back in the day. Uh, yeah, that, those can be really fun or really frustrating. I sh shoot, they're on our ship as well. Well, let's go deal with them. Mm hmm. Okay, 95% dodge will have to do. Oh, he's in here. Let's go deal with their weapons first. Because I don't want another missile to come my way. Please take down the missile. Please take down the missile. Please. What? What? Okay, well, that's uh, that didn't work. Good shit. That is completely useless, but uh, we'll take it, I guess. Now we have something to sell at the store. Good stuff. Let's go. Um, uh, Attack versus defend with guy with different weapons. Environment just. Intel is key with cameras and so forth. Fortify your site and defend. Okay, so is it like a capture the flag kind of thing? Or, or a king of the hill kind of thing? Uh, that's what it sounds like to me, at least. Uh, we have to sort of defend some some kind of point uh, and then if someone is coming you you tell your team and they uh, they do something about it uh, probably gonna go one two three and then head over here uh, do want to hit the store because we have some stuff in our cargo that we can sell okay let's attack scary system but shouldn't be too much too much of an issue for us I guess let's just attack with it Flack and the halberd, and I think we should, or the charge, and we should be all right. Rip. Um, let's just get right in there. Auto fire off. You always have to be careful not to kill the ship uh, when you when you do things like that. Ooh, that's actually quite decent. 
Salt and shield bypass. That's not too bad, actually. That's... I'll take that. Um, tips play around... Uh, yeah, for sure, nice drop. Um, okay, so is it also like a competitive side to it? Like, is there a ranking system or something like that? Uh, I don't know if I'll make the store. I don't think so, actually. Mm. That's unfortunate, but it's it's not too big of a deal. Uh, I think we're in Sector 6 or something. Like, we're so well equipped. It doesn't feel like Sector 6 at all. Yeah, you can punch down the no weapons if you want there, the thingy if you want. I may just kill the ship actually instead of actually trying to uh, board it. It's a pretty scary ship with um, with the uh, with the what's it called here. So I think just killing it might just be better. Good. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I don't have that damage it that much. Let's heal up my guys real quick. And as long as this guy doesn't... Hmm. I think I can do this. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's move in here to draw this guy out. Uh, let's cloak the missile shot. Uh, which guy is dying? Is you away? Move these guys over here. This guy in here. And then swap ID for you. Okay, that should be it. Maybe this guy is gonna fire once more. Uh, I'm just gonna fire up a defense drone. Don't want to take any damage on this fight. Good stuff. Tough fight. Very tough fight. The um, the mind control unit makes it really difficult for uh, boarding strats to deal with. Uh. Whew, tough fight. Um, yes, it is. Competitive, so you should get ranked. Um, so you book team strats uh, on what operators you bring and how you defend the site. Hmm. Ah, ah, okay. In in some way, that sounds so much like League, like like you, so much, like not even from the from the salt perspective. Also, although that is definitely one aspect of <laughs> of League that I uh, you know despise. Um, But also the competitive nature of it is is re like I I love games that have depth in it and that have you know a somewhat competitive side to it as well. That's really lucky. Three stores in 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 a slug home nebula system. That's really sick. Oh, oh! I can't even use it properly, but it's so nice. This is really good. The automated reloader. This is bullshit. I'm not even gonna buy this. It's not worth it. With the Halberd beam. I think I'm just... Oh, this is sector 5 or 6, eh? We still have one entire sector after this. I think I'm gonna buy the automated reloader just to make everything just a tiny bit faster. Um, but apart from that, it's it's like... We're pretty, pretty set, actually. So, let's get this just because... Um... <laughs> I'm gonna go to stress here and then head back up. I think that should be all right. If it doesn't, like, I, I'm not worried about anything at this point. Diving is just, whatever. Engage the slug ship. Oh yeah, that was that one, eh? Hmm. I had that one earlier. And I think I filled it that, that time as well. Ah, whatever. Let's get in there. We'll take care of the weapons in the meantime. I mean, they can't damage us. So only if this, hits us like three times uh, it can potentially damage us but very low chance and even lower if we just do this 
Oh, that's, uh, there wasn't even any need for it, but... Oh, well. Um... Ah, you need friends, right. Yeah, then, then, I mean, then we're both out now. That's, uh, <laughs> friends. I mean, you're working on a girl friend, I guess, or at least something in that, uh, in that sense. But, uh, apart from that, friends, <laughs> way out of our league. Let's go here. Nothing there. Let's just go exit. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to die here. Uh, yeah, sure. We're not using uh, missiles at all, and we have enough drone parts to power the defense drone. So let's get an upgraded reactor. Why not? Now we can actually upgrade our shields uh, without having to upgrade the reactor next time. Rock home worlds, pirate control. Definitely gonna go pirate controlled. Don't really want to deal with with rocks at this point. Uh, pirates are going to be much, much easier to deal with, even though they have more races. Um, uh, I don't know how a girlfriend would help here. <laughs> well, you know, you can work on that. That's that's manageable. <laughs> that's something, you know. You say, I can teach you, and then she comes over, and you only teach her a little bit, and then uh, before you know it, you... Uh, the gaming session has turned into a teaching session about biology. You know, that's uh, easy peasy. We will never surrender one of our crew members to slavers. Let's go. Whoa, two rocks. Whoa, fudge. Um. Yeah, let's go defense here. They're disjuncted. Like, this is a Leto and this is an Artemis, so we can take care of that pretty easily. Ah, I say, oh, it's already. So right now, cloaking doesn't do anything. It has already passed the inside of the shield bubble, so this will hit no matter what. Hmm. Unfortunate. That was our defense against drones. Hmm. Quite unfortunate. We can just cloak the next one and then be completely fine. Uh, can you guys kill this? Oh, it's... Ha. Ha. Very good. Beth, you can... Go out the airlock. I would rather have someone trained, fully trained on weapons than someone that can repair a little bit faster. Even though... Maybe weapon training is actually not that important here. And the repair speed can matter later on, but... Um... <laughs> I mean... I mean... Getting her over by saying you got books. I don't. I don't know if that's a flex, man. I. I honest. I gotta. Be, I gotta be honest here. That's. That's. Mm. Yeah, but see, I would trade a human for a human, so I feel like it's. It's. Mm. It's the best trade possible t for a human. You know, it's like. Mm. And I mean, doesn't Lombard kind of look like a dickhead anyway? I mean, look at this guy. He's half, he's, he's half bald. Oh, this guy's also balding at the back. Are they all? Even Rebecca is, is bald at the back. What the fuck, man? Rebecca, what's going on there? What the? F look at that. It's just a bald patch at the back of her head. Okay, fuck you, Lombard. That's, that's uh, out. Out! Out! You're 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 in uh, Beth, yeah. But you you gotta you really gotta show what you got because uh, otherwise you gotta meet the same fate as uh, as, as Lombardi earlier, and uh, whew, we all know where he ended up. That was ARD. What is an what ADR? What is that? I, I don't know that acronym, I think. Uh, 
Um, nearby sun, asteroid field. Mm, I think I'll go here, here, and then store. Do I need to store actually? I think everything's set eight. But there's a lot of scrap here. I think I'll, I'll just go, fuck it. European agree. Um, Sambani, I, I think you ha might have a weird one in your hands, man. Oh, that's cool. Did you see that the nearby sun event disappeared and was quest peak? I'm wondering if this is a sun now. It isn't. That's cool. I've never seen that. Oh, that's really cool. Wow, that's so cool. Did you see? That's that's really fucking cool. I love it. Uh, let's head into engines or something. More dodge. Man, that's a lot of things. A lot of stuff happening. Let's swap these guys around. I don't want this guy to fight the mats all the time. Okay. Let's go. I have never seen that. That's... That's so cool, man. Long range scanners. That's, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Otherwise, we would have never known that it was a sun beacon beforehand. It completely changed. That's cool. Oh, man. That's, uh, I love it. Let's go store, have a look, nothing here. Let's go next. Um, maybe gonna get the beam drawn. Or the defense too. Hmm. I like the Zoltan here as well. With um, the faster shield recharge, but then I would have to kick this guy over here and I would like to replace both of these humans like you said with some actually useful uh, crew members but yeah not not if it means that I sacrifice training for it hmm hmm defense 2 is pretty good as well so the beam 1 would be for the for the third flagship flagship fight where we have to face a lot of uh, uh, where we have to face Zoltan shield and we can just take care of that pretty easily with this but then again our charge laser flag one is also pretty good at that so I don't think we need it necessarily so here we're gonna get a upgrade anyway so our a, a repair so I'm just gonna leave it as is I don't need any more repairs I think I'm, I'm not close to dying at all so I'm just going to upgrade defense and uh, that's it. Oof, gonna max up power soon. Ah, well, whatever. Whatever. I think we're going to go one, one and a half, two. Depending on if this is a ship fight or not. If that's a ship fight, I might just go up there. Oof. <laughs> All right. That's my boy. I love it. Oh yeah, we can teleport in here. Haha, -ha, fuck you guys. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, okay, well that that's oof, that's a rough one guys. Zoltan Shield what? What Zoltan Shield? I didn't get that. My goodness. That was oof. Okay, it's there's somewhere down here. Yeah. They're gonna get pummeled. Yeah. Not that much of a fight. If you consider like train mantises are just so insane.
Yeah, boarding events. As soon like four like imagine four trained mantises coming your way. Like I, I actually, <laughs> unironically, I saw a man a, a video about a mantis uh, earlier today, where it was just attacking a fucking lizard man. Like the lizard wanted to eat the mantis, and the mantis was like chomp and just munching away at the lizard. I was like, fuck, that's th those things are terrifying as fuck. Yeah, don't mess with a mantis man. Mantis man. Oh, that would be a cool superhero. Mantis man. I can imagine. Someone's just razor sharp claws coming your way. As a villain, you'd be terrified of that. That's the stuff of nightmares. Um, yes, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't want that. But I do want that. That got, that got. That's fine, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Good that this didn't fire. Oh man, no double reward. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's put you in here somewhere. Good, good, good. Um, let's go to stress. The stress over um, Nebula Beacon. Hail. Uh, let's use a defense drone because oh man <laughs> that sucks it would have been a quest marker those fuckers they just take my defense drone and run that's fucked up hail them okay well that's that's whew. with an iron weapon as well I mean they can damage me if all three hit which is very very unlikely luckily but I am going to take my time on this one and just uh, let this charge up. Um, I do want to take care of that. Um, I, I didn't. I, I, I apologize. I did not want to take care of that. <laughs> ah, these guys making it hard on me. I'm just gonna dodge this uh, because if more than if more than two um, iron uh, thingies hit my ship, then I'm screwed. Good. And now we can teleport. Let's go. Let's go in here. The Sultan's kind of ill. This is kind of ill. Let's turn these around. That's fine. No more med bay, no nothing. Uh, yeah, turn. Switch you guys. Well, well, okay, well. Good. Let's contact the refugees. Let's go. And again, you can teleport four people out at once. By walking them in the same room. I think that's like the third time I've done this. This run, uh, this run only. Very useful to save time. What time is it actually? Oh, 10. That's fine. Um, one, two. Ooh, pulsar. Ooh. I mean, we're pretty well equipped though. I think we can deal with pulsars right now. Especially with boarding. That should be doable. Okay, thank you. Free scrub. Always nice. Um, some value points right there. Don't really need them, but might as well have them. Let's go Pulsar. I'm not really a fan of Pulsars because they can be really challenging. Oof. That's a, this is a tough one. A toughie. The ship is not really with that well equipped, but with a pulsar uh, behind it and with an iron weapon to back up the pulsar iron. It can be really tough. Good. 
good. Shields went down, this went down, that's fine. What went down here? Weapons and their shields and their thingy. That's very, very good. Good. And that should be the fight. As soon as the med bay goes down, I think that's that's when we that's when you win automatically. Good stuff. Let's heal our guys. Get all of the power out of our systems. So the way pulsars work, they um, they add on a, uh, 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 some iron damage depending on how much power is in a given system. Um, so if we don't have any power in our system, then we can't take any pulsar damage or any any iron damage from the pulsar. So as soon as this uh, shield regenerates, I'm gonna take out all of the power and just leave one power in each system. And as you can see here, uh, our system almost didn't get any uh, iron damage. Now that everything is back up and we can jump away, we can put all of the power back in and be on our merry way. Let's go. And this way you can have full shields up and everything whilst being at a pulsar. Yeah, exactly. Just a bit of iron damage you take. Uh, yeah, I'm... Mm, Antish. Nah, I'm not gonna take anyone. Don't hide anyone. Bye-bye. The last stand. Let's get some unlocks. Okay, get a repair. And we have a few repair stations on the way. That's pretty nice. Definitely going to be looking for to make some more scrap though along the way. Um, I mean, I don't really need it, but I want it. Um, this is a tricky one because they might have an anti-personnel drone, which they don't. That's good. So in that case, we should be able to take care of them pretty easily. Uh, they can't damage us, so yeah, we're pretty safe here. Pew, pew, pew. Let's go. And you go in here, and you go in here. And by doing that, they all fire at the same door. And we can get into the med bay pretty easily. Okay, that was a lot of scrap. 70-ish scrap. Not bad for a single event. And we don't even have scrap recovery arm or anything like that. That would have been pretty sick. Okay, lots of repair stations still available to us. Let's get our little bit of damage repaired. And uh, then just follow the scrap, I think. Uh, there's lots of ways to get to the base in the end, so yeah, not too worried that we won't make it. Um, teleport into shields, fire into weapons, pretty standard stuff, I think. Uh, we can just deal with them by up, by uh, manning our defense drone. I think that should be more than enough. No hiding in the med bay, please. Okay, well, I'd love to have another Mantis, but I don't want to give up my shield trained NG, so goodbye. Out the airlock with you. And let's go. Man, these fights with, with Mantises are so nice. So smooth. You don't have to worry about anything. Uh, but when you do boarding strats, I'm uh, just gonna ignore this one uh, since there's no uh, ship fight there. Usually it means they're empty in the last sector. Not always, but again, we have to be careful of anti anti combat of anti personnel drone. Um, so definitely be wary of that in the last sector. Oh, that is unfortunate. Not too bad. Um, Shit. 
there was a fire in here, so I was uh, they wanted to get the take the fire out, but in doing so, they killed themselves. Very nice. Good stuff, man. We're just flying through these now. Um, this guy doesn't have any damage. You have a little bit of damage still. Good. Everyone back to their stations. I mean, we have a lot of scrap. I'm just gonna go here. I don't, I don't think I need the other repair station, so I'm just gonna go here and hopefully find another store here. If not, then that's fine as well. I'm just gonna go here and then to the base. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna upgrade my ship a little bit more. Some value points. I don't think I need anything else. Maybe doors for later. But in general, I think we're so well equipped right now. We made a ton of scrap. I got a ton of scrap. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Shield overcharge. Oh, but we have salt and shield bypass. So also that should not be an issue. Oh, a pike beam. Very useful. Very good. Okay, a yeah, pike beam is uh, not really a weapon that we can use, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, uh, like we said earlier, we are very well equipped to deal with anything that the flagship throws at us. So, just gonna have a look what else we can do with our scrap. And I think I'm just gonna max out this. Um, this is gonna be a really... Uh, a really high point run, I think, um, because we have so many systems maxed out. So that's going on to our teleporter, which I'm not happy about. But I'm also not unhappy about. Let's just leave it. It's fine. We don't have to uh, uh, um, do anything about it right now. Okay, we're just gonna wait for this to charge up and then... Uh, oh, it's very unfortunate that we have not had some time to train our weapons guy yet. Not too big a deal, but... So right here, we're just gonna try and keep down the, um, the missiles here. Good stuff. So I would like to hit the um, hacking as well and just try and disable the um, and just try and disable the uh, um, hacking so we can actually teleport. It's not that big a deal. Uh, just as long as this thing doesn't doesn't go up again, we're completely safe. Uh, that's quite unfortunate, but we have enough power to just uh, uh, dodge it like that. And then we should be able to finish it next uh, with the next volley. Yeah, it's one of the things that is quite unfortunate is that we didn't take care of any of their uh, crew members. So that's something we'll have to do in the next phase then. But yeah, not too big a deal. Not that big a deal. Okay, let's... In the second phase, we always wait, but we can actually get maybe a little bit more scrap over here. So let's go here. Nothing. Okay, then we just jump back. We have enough fuel and resources anyway, so it doesn't really matter here. And the last one, we're just going to wait for the uh, flagship to come into us. And right here... I'm not entirely certain how I want to play this. Maybe I'll teleport into here and then move my crew over here once I disable the med bay. I think that's going to be the play. 
Actually, I'm just gonna wait for my things to charge up. I think that's gonna be the best option for me. And uh, I wanted to take care of that. That's quite unfortunate. In my backup battery, that's, that's something I need. I'm gonna try to deal with this boarding drone first and then move on to other stuff. So I'm trying to to heal my my mantis that has been damaged by the by the boarding drone. I don't care about the breach that much. I just care that my guys are healthy and that I can now take care of their um of their med bay. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna hit shield as well. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get these guys over here. Hmm, the med bay didn't go down fully. Let's get in over here. Next time I'm gonna hit this. Okay, I didn't see that, but that is not an issue. As soon as we see the drones appearing, we cloak. And then once the drones are gone, we're gonna fire into their med bay. Good. And now we're gonna move over to the med bay. I just want to take care of a lot of crew here. That's that's the only uh, that's the only real thing that I would like to have happen in this phase. I'm gonna swap these around. Unfortunately, the O2 went down. Hmm. But yeah, we're gonna take care of a lot of crews, so the next phase is gonna be much, much easier. Okay, this guy is dying. Whew! If this, if he would have been in here, then it would have been uh, very bad potentially. Uh, so I think most of their crew is dead. If not, no, they're all dead. Uh, so I'm just gonna pop all them now. So you can take care of that. So this is never gonna be never gonna be uh, fully operational again. So I just want to take care of the the last bit of the boarding drone and then get that fixed up as fast as possible. I lost my MG. No, I didn't. Good. I just want to wait for the next drone phase, basically, uh, and then hit the cloak then. That's all I'm looking for right now. Gonna hit the defense drone for this uh, for this drone over here, and then hit the cloak. And that's GG. Good stuff. Not the cleanest fight, but definitely gets the job done. Uh, we took a little bit of damage, I think 10 damage in total, uh, because I think we were full health. Uh, but we survived with all, of our, with all of our crew members still there, so yeah, definitely a successful fight in the end. But yeah, could have been cleaner. 
Doesn't really matter though at all. And then these two can fix up the backup battery. Definitely want to have that for the next fight. It's gonna take a while, I guess, to uh, to repair with the two mantises on it. But yeah, it's fine. Okay, these can go back, and then I'm gonna get uh, this, I guess. Cause why not? Let's go, little mantises. You can do it. Good stuff. Last phase is going to be pretty easy. Um, we're just going to jump into them. It doesn't really matter, I think, at this point. Uh, so usually it matters a little bit. Uh, because they tend to board you in the last phase. Yeah, that's also completely fine. Uh, we are just going to hit them with everything we got. Kill off their teleport. Kill off their uh, thingy here first. And then their uh, their missile launcher as well. Gonna auto fire everything. Backup battery with some power in there. Good stuff. Kill it! Kill it! Mantises! No! Okay, we took a little bit more damage there. Again, it doesn't really matter. I just want this to go down and then... And then we can get them back out there. Ooh, yeah. I don't want that to go up. As long as shields go down now, that's uh, we're completely fine. I'm gonna teleport them back and then uh, we're gonna finish them off. You guys come back, finish this off, and then we go like this. And that's gonna be the end. Not the end. We're gonna cloak. And that's gonna be the end. Perfect. So definitely not the cleanest fight, especially the second phase where we boarded over. I think that was... Um, maybe boarding there wasn't the best choice. Maybe the third phase was better suited because they come to us and then we can just kill them and jump back into the uh, into the base. And then maybe that would have been a better sequence of events. Uh, but I think all in all, pretty happy about this. Uh, definitely going to predict a pretty pr a decently high score. We maxed out a lot of systems, that means we got a lot of scrap. And that after a very, very, very bad first sector. First two sectors, actually. So, yeah, very happy with this. Uh, Zampani, if you want to uh, if you want to predict a score, then uh, you can put it in the comment section. Um, let's see, my, my prediction is going to be... 6, 2, 1. Zero. Let's see. Okay, let's have a look at the score. Ooh! <laughs> God damn! Three off. Let's go. Let's go. That is nice. I love it. Let's look at the stats. Um, yeah, most crew hired. Yeah, that does not surprise me. We found a lot of crew. Um, so this, this is actually a high score of mine. Um, so yeah. Wow, 2100 scrap uh, um, collected. That's really, really good. 104 beacons, not that much actually. I, we we, we uh, didn't go to a lot of beacons, uh, uh, nebula beacons early. So that's why this is a little bit lower than 
the max, but definitely a good amount of of, of beacons. And ships defeated. 52 is the most ships I've ever defeated in a run, and this one we did 50, so very, very nice. Uh, it also goes to show that um, if we would have found a, a few more beacons, uh, maybe early on, uh, then we made a, maybe could have uh, uh, put in a few, uh, put in a higher score than this. But uh, yeah, very good. Third best uh, score I've gotten so far. And yeah, it also felt like it. We had a lot of scrap throughout this run. In the beginning, we were really struggling to find anything of use. And then in two events in a row, we found the uh, hull laser and uh, right after that, the charge laser. And the charge laser is a, a weapon that can renew the game. Um, and then later on, we also found a halberd beam with it. It was At that point, it was pretty unnecessary to go with the halberd beam i just like the halberd beam a lot so that's why i went with that so yeah very good we also unlocked unlocked um the mantis c um yeah mantis c is a little bit difficult to play with i feel like uh, the teleporter is a four teleporting room but uh you only start off with one mantis and alanius to 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 teleport and tell uh Teleporting with Alanius can always be a little bit difficult because they suck out the air. So either you find a second one of these, which is challenging, or you just uh, avoid using this one altogether in a in a boarding party and you just focus on getting either mantises or rocks or something like that to supplement. Uh, but yeah, it's a four boarding ship as well. So yeah, this uh, can be very, very interesting. Anyway... Uh, for now, I think uh, I've had enough. Um, I think I'm gonna go uh, salt. I'm gonna play salt the game uh, a little bit more. So League of Legends, uh, but I'm just gonna do that with friends off stream. Um, I recently had Diamond in League of Legends as well, so I'm really happy about that. Um, first time I actually had Diamond in Solo Duo queue, so very very nice. Thanks, man. Really really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Well, you joined in like halfway through approximately, so you watched you watched quite a fair bit of it at least. But yeah, always always nice seeing you, man. It's always nice to have you in my in my chat. Always a fun time. Earlier, um, Cyber Penguin also showed up, by the way. So he was uh, there just before you joined, actually. Uh, but he was off to bed, and then uh, like right after you joined. So yeah. Thanks for uh, stopping by again, uh, Zimani, and uh, I'll see you around, man. And you guys, see you later. Bye.